What were the, if we take a step back, it's really fascinating to think about the early UFCs. Did you fight Dan Severn in the UFC? I fought him in Super Brawl. Super Hawaii. Brawl. So that was in the early, early days. You're undefeated. 2000. Uh, <laughs> what were those early days, let's say, of mixed martial arts like? Do you have, Let me and, tell you the day of high adventure. <laughs> <laughs> dun, 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 yeah. dun, 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 Yeah, it is. It was so much fun. <laughs> and it, it made you feel absolutely like you were a part of uh, a, a novel, a comic book. Yeah. I mean, I, I would love to transcribe my experiences as what I consider a second generation MMA athlete, except I'm way too sensitive uh to anybody's personal any things that are not not even to you know i'm not a gossipy person i really do believe that like small people talk about others big people talk about ideas so um but th there's just some stories that just can't you can't tell without telling the whole story and there are so many amazing stories that could be told people being at their best people being at their worst yeah the whole the whole but is there all. something you could speak to the chaos of the time? Oh, 100%. Like, well, okay, so we at AMC got uh, connected to somebody that was throwing an event in Nampa, Idaho, and we all piled into this and uh, Matt Hume's uh, Subaru wagon, and we jammed out, and we left Kirkland, and we headed over to Idaho, only to find out that there was nothing really put in place it was absolute disrepair and, and chaos like they they didn't have a ring they didn't have this we, I, it was such a bullshit adventure mm -hmm. but we were like well you know there's hardly anywhere to fight it's, it's tough to find these opportunities so okay well how about this whoever is here to fight and is willing all right well since the, there's no venue there's no this whatever we all got gloves we got mouthpieces we'll just go to the park as long as we still get paid <laughs> yeah and so folks were kind of like i don't know about that the guy i was gonna fight was he finally figured that they, they finally he finally gets information on who i actually am and i was undefeated at the time and i'd i think i had fought super brawl 13 and already won that tournament and so he's like yeah i had no clue i'm so glad we didn't fight you would have murdered me this is you know what a setup mm -hmm. and eventually matt had to had to strong arm the guy and get our money that we were supposed to all get and drive back and because he his whole position was well there ain't no fucking way we drove all the way out here for free this is on you you fucked this up not my problem but what is my problem is the lack of cash in my account so fix it you know, or um, <laughs> me fighting my first uh, organized fight against an AMC guy on 11 days notice uh, through a connection to an old wrestling coach I had. And I just gathered up with who I, what, all my old martial art, my old martial arts uh, instructor that I had worked with. And we grappled in his uh, apartment. We did tie pads in the park. Uh, I ran a couple miles every day and then, all right, boom, show it up. Won my fight by front choke in two minutes. And then Matt goes, okay, well, hey, you did really great. We'd like you to come back and fight again in the summer. What do you think? Okay, go back off to university. And then I think, hmm, well, that fight didn't go exactly how I wanted it to. So I got to find a way to get more experience. I would literally fight people in uh, the university like rec center on the old wrestling mats as they didn't know I had a wrestling team. I would find anyone doing martial arts, anyone talking about getting into street fights, anyone, whatever, and just basically go, oh, you ever watch UFC? Yeah, yeah, that stuff's cool. What do you, what do you think? Oh, man, I'm super into it, man. It's badass. Rad. So would you, would you want to fight? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was way easier picking fights and then it was you know getting a girlfriend <laughs> so <Yeah. laughs> uh, just you know path of least resistance 